Hello, everyone. Rosh Chodesh Iyar, the first of Iyar, has many significances historically for the Jewish people. And in the last nine years for the modern Orthodox community, and especially for his students, the yurt side of my great Rebbe and mentor, Rav Aaron Lichtenstein, Zecher Tzadik Levracha. There's only one problem with the yurt side of a great man. Many a times you hear things about him that you say, he was so great, he was so big, what does it have to do with me? Yes, I respect him. Yes, I'm going to talk about him about, with awe and with admiration. But what does it have to do with me? I'm not going to be that big. I'm not ever going to get it to that level. And therefore, this has nothing to do with me. And if that happens, then in my humble opinion, we just missed it totally. We missed the whole idea of what a Yortzeit is all about. Our Yortzeit is about learning from a great man and asking how can we implement the halacha lamaise in our lives. So allow me to share just one anecdote about his life that I believe we can all implement in our lives. He learned with each and every one of his children on Shabbos. He had six children, Baruch Hashem, each are different, and yet he learned with each and every one of them. I believe this is something we can all implement into our lives. It doesn't have to be structured. You don't have to be a great Talmud Chacham to do it. Learning with your children is it's exactly the way God wanted Moshe Rabbeinu to give us the mitzvah of learning Torah. After all, it doesn't say in the Torah, learn Torah. It says, Veshinantam to who? Levanecha. Vilimadetem otam et benechem. And you shall teach it to your children. There is nothing more of an intimate experience than the internal jokes that a family shares that only they can laugh at. So imagine if in that internal circle, you add in not only the internal jokes and whatnot, but also the learning of Torah. That's the way God said to Moshe to write it into the Torah. And that, in my opinion, has to be part and parcel of our experience. I know in my own family, ever since I learned that about my Rebbe, I feel guilty on Shabbos to eat my children if I didn't learn with at least one of my children first. I feel that it's part of the Shabbos experience, not just to nap and to eat and to daven, but also to learn with your children. It is one of the most rewarding experiences. It is one of the most beautiful experiences. And literally, as he once taught in the name of Rav Soloveitchik, it is not just a kiyum, a fulfillment of learning Torah, but rather, it is a fulfillment of reenacting Maimad Har Sinai that we're counting towards right now. Namely, at Har Sinai, there were a few generations there. There was grandparents, parents, children. The same thing is true each and every time you go ahead and learn with the next generation. You, Kiviyacho, are standing there like a Moshe Rabbeinu and you're teaching the next generation. Or you're standing there, Kiviyacho of Kiviyacho, like a God being a melame Torah la amo Yisrael, being a teacher of Torah to the Jewish people, as we say every morning in the blessing on the Torah, teaching the generations to come. And thus, in that context, in Parshat Ve'et Hanan, it says that you have to remember the Sinai experience, v'hodatam levanecha, v'livnei vanecha, and you shall tell your children and your grandchildren. And thus, every time you learn with your children, it is not just learning Torah, it is reenacting the Sinai experience. An intergenerational experience surrounding one of the most ancient aspects of the Jewish experience, learning our experience, having our brains not just deal with politics, strategy, who should be the next prime minister and president, but rather having our brains deal with the most intimate aspects of our Jewish lifestyle. So whoever doesn't yet do it, I give you the following challenge. Try, to the best of your abilities, to learn with your children and grandchildren. I can promise you one thing. It is rewarding, it is enjoyable, and it is beautiful. And if you do so, not only will you bring a schut to the memory of this great gadol, you will ensure that his legacy remains alive and well in this world as well. Yehizrichro, Shamoli Rabbi.
ברוך.